Hey everyone, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a close-up of a saber-toothed tiger's face while it's roaring. So I hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our saber-toothed tiger face, let's begin with the eye. I'm going to start right here and I'm just going to begin by making a line that's just going to go down and then I'm going to bring it back here in kind of like a check mark shape. Now for the front of the eye, let's curve a line down. And then let's bring a line that's going to come up and then back like this. Then I want to connect this part here. Then right here, I'm going to add a little curve line. And then I'm going to add a line that's going to come down and then I'm going to curve this up. I'm going to add a little circle here. And I'm going to color in most of this, leaving just kind of that little circle white and just that edge there. And I'll put another line right here. Now starting here, I'm going to leave a little bit of space and I'm going to make some kind of pointed lines that just come back like this. And I'm going to bring this line down here and just kind of bring it back. Now starting here, I'm going to make a little line that's going to come out and then in. I'll make another little one that's just going to come out and then in here, kind of like some wrinkles. Starting here, I'm going to bring this line up and then down. And then right here, I'm going to make this line come out and we're going to bring it down for the nose. We'll bring this back here, and then we'll just curve it up to here. Now starting here, I'm going to make some kind of little pointed lines that are just going to come out to here. Then I'm going to bring this back and kind of curve up here to kind of show where the cheek is going to be. Next, I'm going to bring this line back here. And then we're going to bring this line down right to about there. Curve this line down and then up a little bit to kind of show where the lip is going to be. And I'll make kind of like a long broken line shape that's just going to come up to there. I'm going to make some little points on here. They're going to come right up to here. And then I'm going to curve this up. Now before I go any farther, let's add some teeth in here. So the first thing is let's add that famous saber tooth tiger fang in here. So I'm going to begin right here and I'm going to make a long line that's going to come almost all the way down. We're going to make it come to a sharp point and then bring it up. We'll put that other one kind of right here. So we'll just bring a line that's going to come down and then up. Then I'm going to add a couple little points in here for some teeth in between there. Now I'm just going to make a couple little points right back here just to show some teeth. Then we'll make a kind of like a little bit bigger fang down here. It just goes up and down and then a couple smaller teeth hiding behind it and another one that just goes up and down. I'm going to make a couple little pointed teeth and you can see I'm kind of making these almost like little M's. And then right here I'm going to make a line that's just going to come down to here. Make a little broken line here. And then let's come back out here and let's kind of shape out the face. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to make some lines that are just going to come down with some big points here. I'm going to bring some of these back up here. I'm 
up here. I'm going to make a couple little lines. They're just going to come back here with some points. And I'm going to bring these back up to here. Next, I'm going to bring some lines that are going to come down, or up and then down. And I'm just going to make some of these go right off to the edge. Then right down here, I'm going to make some long, kind of pointed lines for the fur. Next, starting here, I want to make the ear. So I'm going to begin by making a line that's just going to come back here. I want to make this come to a point that we're going to come down and then bring it up. Then I'm going to come back down here and I'm going to curve it up. I'm going to bring this line up and then kind of down. And we'll add a little curve here too. I'm going to make some little points right across there. And then I'm just going to make some little pointed lines right over here just to kind of shape out that part of the face. I'm going to make some little lines right here that curve. And then I'm going to make a couple more little curve lines right there. Make a little line right here. And then I'm going to make a couple little kind of broken lines right here in the cheeks. Now we have our basic shape, we just kind of want to come in here and add some different little details. So I'm going to make a couple little kind of broken lines that come right across here. I'm going to put a couple lines right underneath the eye. Make a little line or two by the nose. And a couple little long lines that just come right down the two big fangs. We'll make some little long lines right here. And some extra long lines right here, just where we have a lot of extra fur. Just to kind of bring some extra detail into the picture. Make a few more lines right around here. And just a couple little lines right around there. little line or two right here. And just a couple little lines right there. Little line or two up there. And just a couple more little detail lines all around. And there you go, there is your drawing of a saber-toothed tiger face. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.